So banking stocks are down dramatically today. Uh, there's a lot of nervousness in the market, and one stock that's down the most is Deutsche Bank. There's been nervousness ever since the Swiss government decided to merge Credit Suisse onto UBS in a mega rescue. Investors are now apparently asking whether Deutsche Bank could be such a bank. But what are the fundamentals, the fundamental differences between Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse? Well, first of all, there was a massive deposit outflow of Credit Suisse that started last fall. We have no indication that anything like that is happening in Deutsche Bank. There's other differences as well. Deutsche Bank has long put the scandals of the past behind it, most of them, there's still little ones, but nothing uh, comparable to what was going on in Credit Suisse before it needed the rescue. Autonomous Research has put out a, a note asking the same question, and they say investors are a bit concerned about the very big derivatives book that Deutsche Bank has. Autonomous says it's not much bigger than what you see at other big trading and investment banks, but it's something that investors are asking questions about. And they've also asked questions about Deutsche Bank's exposure to U.S. commercial real estate. Again, Autonomous says that risk for Deutsche Bank is manageable. It seems like Credit Suisse is a different case, and so far we don't really see uh, any reason why Deutsche Bank should see any contagion, except, of course, for the psychological factor there's a lot of nervousness, as I said. People are concerned about the risk of contagion, and that concern itself can trigger a sort of, can set off a self-fulfilling prophecy. Deutsche Bank right now is in the focus of that, and we'll have to see how it develops.